I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm very excited to be joined by Dakota Kai. Dakota, how are you? Hi, Emily. I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I feel like I'm in the middle of a whirlwind still, but no, it, it, it's good. <laughs> You were in Toronto recently for Raw. I got to ask you, have you recovered? How did you like the Toronto crowd? <laughs> they definitely uh, let it be known who they supported. But um, no, they were they were awesome. Uh, I think, you know, with our tag team match too, they were, you know, behind us. And no, Toronto is an awesome crowd for sure. Dakota, I wanted to play a couple like rapid fire questions with you. It doesn't have to be super quick, obviously, but it's just... <laughs> Here we go. First up, we love getting to watch you on WWE Network, but if you could star in your own TV show, maybe it's something that you're watching right now or something that you grew up watching, which show would it be? I recently, well, you know, recently just finished the, the full season of Stranger Things. I think that I would love to be in something like that. And for like the, the 80s sort of nostalgia feel is also super dope. I think that being in something like that with also that sort of uh, horror edge, I think would be fun, really fun. If you could get a celebrity in the ring as an opponent, which celebrity are you choosing? Who are you fighting? I, so a lot of my gear lately, or just a few of them, there's more to come, has been inspired by a lot of like Doja Cat's performance. Yes. Like the outfit she wears on her videos, she is so creative. She's got such a like creative mind for it. She's so, like she's trailblazing a lot of like fashion, like, plus music and all that. So <laughs> I think it'd be cool to get a match against Doja. <laughs> I think she'd be crazy. That would be an insane match. What would be your Mount Rushmore of the best finishing moves of all time? So my favorite growing up was HK Shawn Michaels, and you know I think Sweet Chin Music is just you know it's it's a, it's a beautiful kick, and the way he sets it up is just like always anticipatory, you know, like everyone's like, oh my gosh, he's gonna do it. The RKO probably too. Yep. Randy's RKO. Yeah, you can always. The common one. Yeah. yeah. Triple H's pedigree. Ooh. I put that there too. It's a good one. Eddie's Frog Splash. Okay. Uh, what song are you listening to to get yourself pumped up before a match? A song that always gets me pumped up, whether it's with uh, for, before a match or anything, is um, Epic by Faith No More. Okay. And it's always a consistent song, yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you, is that like your genre of music? Is no. That, are you like all over the place? Yeah, I'm all over the place. I'm pretty eclectic when it comes to music, but I think the only one that I haven't really got into is like, Country? You and I are on the same page, Dakota. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Song, but everything we'll else, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is the weirdest or even most embarrassing thing that has happened to you in the ring? It could be one or the other. Okay, I get told frequently that I'm the most clumsiest athletic person <laughs> that's ever like, you know, stepped into a ring. Um, I Come on! My no, I really do. I, outside of the ring, I'm like bumping into things. I'm getting bruises because I'm walking into like table edges and stuff. Um, and luckily it hasn't really happened too much like in a wrestling ring, but there was one time on my entrance where I like tripped up and I had to like sort of roll Play it off. It. Yeah, <laughs> and it's not like I was, like at the time I was a good guy. So it wasn't like I could just be like, you know, embarrassed yeah, yeah. about it. I had to like, oops, and just keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you play, you play it off really well, because yeah, if good. anything happened, that is good. You know? let's, let's keep it that way. <laughs> let's keep that outside of the ring, yeah. Yeah. Okay, finish the sentence. If I wasn't a WWE superstar, I'd be a blank. I want to say fashion designer. Oh. I really, yeah, so I took a, um, a bachelor's in graphic design. I have that, and fashion was like something I was so interested in, you know, continuing like a major or something after that. But I love fashion and uh, I'm just, uh, yeah, I just enjoy it so much. I think it's so cool to see how the trends change and yeah. Do you have any, do you have a favorite trend right now? Like, I like loose fit jeans. I never really liked the skinny jeans because like, I don't know, I just love that look. I like how the Y2K like, Oh, it's coming oh, back. It's coming back. Yeah. yeah. And it's crazy because like I lived through that. So to see yeah. it 
back again, I'm like, oh wow, that's I feel like I'm like, doing... like the headband, the scrunchies, yeah, the, yeah, the scrunchies, the little twisty, um, spiky hairdos that we used to have with our hair ties, like oh like yeah, that. yeah. Oh, those are the best times. I know, right? And then like the the color, like the hair wouldn't even match your own hair color, so it would just looked weird. Like that was my one anyway. I had like a, yeah. a red one. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's fine. <laughs> oh, good time. Nostalgia yeah. at its finest. Yeah. Okay, last question here. I've been asking a couple superstars this. Can you help me come up with my own WWE superstar name? So my first name is Emily. Last name is Agard. M the Threat. M the Threat. Yeah. M the Threat. So I'm a bad M guy. Am I bad yeah. guy? I'm into yeah. it. You're a bad guy. You're into a threat. It. I'm you're a threat. A threat. <laughs> And then you always have to say that, like in every promo you say, you're like, I'm a threat. I'm in the threat. Okay, I've got it. I'm <laughs> the threat. I love it. Dakota Kai, thank you so much for the hang. This was awesome.